maybe a little rattled, walk. maybe a little rattled from uh, the the numerous concussions, but brilliant nonetheless. So I want to hear more about your business strategy, if possible. Mindforge just said Hassan learned from you, and I don't think that he did. However, I like this tactic a lot. Insincere compliments are really, 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 really effective at bringing down people with inflated egos. They know they're being insulted, but they don't have a good tool set for dealing with insincere commentary because their natural reaction is to get upset by it because it denigrates the actual compliments they rely on to maintain their self-esteem. All right, let's steal content. So, Andrew Tate, number one leftist live streamer. Hassan, Romanian sex criminal. Who knows what will happen when these two wacky personalities hit? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not showboating this. I have still have only seen a tiny clip of this. Godspeed. Whatever's going to happen, happens. This is part two. Well, where's part one? Is this part one? Here's part one. Can we watch both? We'll see. Andrew, I've seen some of your work uh, as you're doing the rounds on Twitch here. And uh, a lot of the things that you said that you've been called out on, specifically in regards to like women driving, I, I as a matter this? of fact, are just generally untrue. There's no empirical evidence to back up those claims, which is why you resort to anecdotes quite frequently and say things like, oh, well, it's just common sense, right? But it's not technically common sense. It's just cool. your That's personal fine. opinion. Completely. It's my uh, personal opinion uh, based on my personal biases of my life experience. Now, yeah. when I say these, well, yeah, exactly. And when I say these things, X amount of people agree with me and X amount of people disagree with me. That's fine. And that's the same of nearly any statement in the world. Okay, I but can say the world is, I can uh, wait, 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 what? Wait. Yeah, the thing I said is factually incorrect, but like some people agree with me and some people disagree with me. So like, you know, whatever, like that's the, that's the same as all things. Tr truth is a concept doesn't ex reality is a concept doesn't exist. I can say the world is round and there'll be a percentage of people who disagree with me. That's uh -huh. totally and utterly fine. I come on here and talk about my own personal experiences and my experiences men are better well, drivers than women. I'm not saying there's no good female also. drivers. I'm not saying a female can't. No, 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 no. You're misunderstanding what I'm saying. There is a truth and then there is your own. You're misunderstanding. There is a thing called reality and we, and we can observe facts about reality <laughs> outside of your experience. Own personal experiences backed oh, no, by anecdotes, a... right? Yeah, there's... Or your own truth. personal opinion backed by anecdotes from your own personal experiences. Now, your own personal experiences are oftentimes going to be incorrect and not close to the reality. That's why there's an entire field of statistical analysis. That's why we do empirical. Uh, that's why we rely on empirical evidence when we're making decisions. Why? Because we Let's all right carry right a bunch right of personal right right biases. Right and when we analyze situations, we do not have enough scope to grasp the entirety of the situation. I'm, I'm, actually I'm actually pretty proud of Hassan right here. I think he's actually doing a pretty good job of like, you know, like talking down to an idiot, but like explaining, yeah, okay, no, yeah, okay. I, I don't really know like the, the format. I haven't actually seen anything Hassan has done. When was the last time he was on stream? Not like on as in called in, but on as like, when was the last time we watched something of Hassan's? I haven't seen him do anything in quite a while, so. Oh no, it would have been, yeah, the Ukraine stuff. We, didn't, we cannot comprehend it with our human brains. Bro, listen, which I is why it. when it comes to women driving, it's a funny point because Drop the truth is different. The truth is the exact opposite. Woman well, face no, no, listen. First things first, there's lies, there's damn lies, and there's statistics. I'm sure you've heard that from Mark Twain. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you're, mm -hmm. you're deriving. You you're can deriving massage, the, yeah, you can massage numbers, deriving, but. You can drive, you're deriving your truth from an internet study. That's fine. You can derive your truth from an internet study on a bunch of different things. The truth of life is the truth that you experience as an individual. That is the only truth that we all live within. You live within your truth. Okay, so he, he actually is like, like, what, what would this even be? Like, um, existential nihilism? What, a solipsist? No, this is solipsism. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think this is, this is like full solipsism here. That is, that is remarkable. I, ha I have said before that, um, the true, the true enemy of fascism is, um, reality. And that all fascist people and governments must inevitably wage war against it, you know. Yeah. Epistemic nihilism.
truths. I live within my truths because these are the truths I've experienced as an individual. If you, certain things happen to you over and over and over and over and over again, but the truth on the internet says it's not true, that doesn't mean that your experiences are any less real. 15 so if you're coming, no, this is just being a retard. Well, you can be retarded and also be a solipsist. There is an overlap there. Wait, no, chat. Why is chat being like, no, he's just dumb? Like, you can be dumb in ways that have, like, names that apply to them. Like, if I say, like, he's, if I, when I say epistemic nihilist, I'm calling him a retard. I'm just doing it using more specific. <laughs> yeah, in, in, in academic circles, that's just a synonym. And say the internet says X. Especially no, your experiences after can be real. You could be a statistical anomaly, as a matter of fact. You can be one of those people, but more more often than not, more often than you talk that, to me, then I'm going to talk to you because I keep letting you talk, and you're finishing your point, and I'm trying to talk. So okay, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to the the fact that you're going on the internet, finding some study and saying that this is the truth, especially after the age of COVID and all the f truth we were told with that garbage. You want to sit here and say, "Oh, the internet said X." I'm sure the internet did. I'm talking about my personal experience. Who are the Who are the other people here, by the way? Who's the 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 guy? with no interior decoration skills and the couple. Fortnite streamers? Okay. Experiences and some people agree with me and some people do not. That is perfectly fine. Don't give a f if people agree with me or otherwise. People are listening to me and they're either agreeing with me or not. I know, but you're still wrong and that's the problem. Uh, I disagree with you. Do you want to be right or do you want to keep speaking into a hug box where people agree with you? And Prove then, me, you know, wrong. well, if you just completely devalue empirical evidence, actuarial sciences, okay, the Thanks. entirety of the insurance industry that relies on making these sorts of calculations to ensure that these quotes are as profitable as possible, which ends up uh, charging men higher rates than women is a statistical likelihood that men are more dangerous drivers than women across the board and get into more car accidents across the board. If you're going to look at all of that and say, it doesn't matter because that does not correspond to my own personal, uh, my own personal experiences then you're silly. You're being silly. You're being a silly person. If everyone thought like you did, right, we would have no scientific achievements on this planet. We would still be living inside of f***ing caves. As much as I love Liver King personally, I don't think that uh, that would be a good planet to live on. I'm pretty happy for, I don't know, all the medical... So I, again, I'm, I'm inferring from context here, but the reason why Hassan has like 16 pairs of baby gloves on right now is because he knows that Tate is like a man-child, right? Is there some prior... Im like imbalance here I, I i i assume this is because like he knows the tape will run if he gets even a little bit yeah heated yeah. All achievements all the scientific achievements that we have reached and at the heart of all of that all of those accomplishments lies five months an past. understanding of arriving at the truth through empirical evidence you done yeah cool in my personal experiences all of the car crashes i've been involved in all the times oh my, my car was hit Holy all shit. the negative experience I've had He's on the road, out like women Spencer. were at fault. That is now you can sit here and say the insurance claims say that. I never said the insurance claims don't say that. I'm saying that I am not comfortable with women driving because of my personal experience. Those are my personal experiences. You can drag up all the empirical evidence in the world you want to try and drag up. Anyone with a brain knows how that aids the world agendas anyway. I don't want to go too political on a stream that's going to get taken. Wait, what? Anyone knows how empirical information aids the world's agenda? What the f does that even mean? That is gesturing at a level of conspiracy that is beyond my comprehension. Maybe this guy's higher IQ than I thought. Maybe empiricism is their agenda and there is the world. What the f is, is, is this guy is like the centerpiece of a cosmic battle. Jesus Christ. I'm down. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not saying that I can't find a female race car driver. I'm not saying that. All That's not what I'm are... saying either. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about like uh, statistical anomalies. I'm, I'm straight up talking about the overwhelming amount of evidence that suggests that women are more careful drivers than men. Okay. And therefore better drivers than men. You keep resorting back to uh, your personal anecdotes. You under, so let me walk this, let me walk you through this, right? Do you agree? Do you agree that human beings have biases? Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Okay, okay. But, but, but hey, I respected your time. Do you want to answer yeah. my question? Do you believe that human beings have biases? Oh, absolutely. We're all biased. Okay. Completely. Do you biased. think that those biases might cloud your judgment? It's not about clouding judgment. Not just your personal cloud, or, not just your own personal judgment. Do you Maybe think our biases might cloud our personal judgment? 
I think every single person on earth is biased and lives within a biased absolutely. reality. That's absolutely. That's absolutely true. If you agree with me on both of those accounts, you understand that your anecdotes, your own personal accumulation of information is going to be clouded Judge by your own personal biases. So you're not going to be able to assess the information adequately in the same way that empirical evidence would. This is one of the reasons why I really wish that a formal logic classes were taught in high school or maybe even middle school. You know how like we don't like culturally, we don't value academic knowledge that much. Like if you don't know something, you don't you tend not to get made fun of unless it's a pretty basic thing. Like if you're doing two plus two equals five shit, people will make fun of you. I want people who engage in basic po cognitive biases to be made fun of by like their friends, family and coworkers. You know, like, I think it should be embarrassing to do that. Like, if somebody, if somebody, like, is like an obvious bias, like ascribing anecdote to, to the exclusion of, like, empirical evidence or whatever else, you know, if they, if they, somebody does that, I, I wish people would just be like, what the fuck, what are you doing? Seriously? And then they will correct you, you know? Unfortunately, there are people who make it to adulthood whose brains are just, like, porous, like, sieves. And they, and we call them conservatives. <laughs> it's very, it's very annoying. This is My precisely friend. why we look at data rather than okay, me, make arguments around our... Pro wait, let me finish. Come on. I understand what you're saying. This is, just, but this is precisely why we do that. We're going to say point like five times here. Everyone's saying kick you. You're long, long in the point. You're saying that the empirical evidence is saying X, so it doesn't matter what my personal experience is. That's fine. My point is, let me change it. Let's say that the empirical evidence says that a pit bull is more likely to bite you than a Dalmatian. But in your life experience, every time you went near a Dalmatian, it bit you and a pit bull never did. Are you going to go up to a Dalmatian still completely and go, oh, it's fine, completely unbiased because the empirical evidence says X when you're covered in scars? No, you're going to say, Dalmatians bite me for some reason, and I'm not comfortable around Dalmatians. That's called human nature. Okay. So I'm telling you my personal experiences, and I don't care. You, I understand your point. Empirical evidence Maybe says X. Women in this country I mean, can do yes. X. I completely get that. For secondly, okay. it's also country by country because you're only talking about America because you're American. And you don't see outside of the world. That's fine. I'm, I'm well, Turkish, actually. I grew up in Turkey. That's um, not the point. That's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is I'm uncomfortable with a woman driving. And if you actually ask most women, if it gets late at night or it starts getting dark or it starts raining rain heavily or the parking gets difficult, they usually ask the man to drive themselves. That said true. I, I, I haven't I haven't noticed that. I don't think I've ever noticed any like differences at all in anything related to driving between men and women. The only the only thing that I've noticed is the thing that's reflected in insurance costs which is that men tend to be more reckless when they drive because they're all out there trying to get pussy doing donuts on, like, the four-way. But apart from that, I think it's, like, completely the same? I don't know. I know many women who do that. They're not offended by my assumption. I know loads of women who go, oh, I don't want to park, you park it. Loads, there's not a bad thing about it. What, is he... Is he fucking children? What? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Okay, uh, the only time I've ever said that I don't want to park it or hurt other people was when they're new drivers, like 16. No, seriously, like the whole I'll drive there, but you get out and switch seats with me so you park it. That was when I had my um, learner's permit. And and same with, with my friends, male or female at the time. Like if there was a more experienced driver in the car and there was like a small parking spot. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, okay. Who gives a shit, right? It's not even a big deal. You've come on here deciding you really want to stick up for the chicks and maybe, you know, one of them will drive over to your house. It's cool. <laughs> We've got better things to talk about. I don't think about. I, I, look, look, let's, let's be real. Shit. I don't think I need to be a, a male feminist to be able to attract women, okay? However, I, I having said that. Ah, oh, they cut. Ah, oh, why'd the editor cut? That probably led to like a five minute argument. I want that. Cowards. Having said that, that was a funny implication. Having said that, you are failing to recognize what I am trying to say. I walked I you through these steps slowly but surely. It, the, the thing is, the Dalmatian example that you gave is great because you are creating now a hypothetical scenario in which you want your opponent to concede. I can do the exact same thing and say, well, in my personal experience, Dalmatians never bite or pit bulls never bite, whichever one you thought was the more aggressive breed, right? In my personal experience, what if in a million times that I have bred pit bulls or been around pit bulls, not a single one of them has ever been aggressive? We will never be able to arrive at MG. a meaningful solution or a resolution to this conversation you, if we're both operating so on personal asshole. anecdotes and hypotheticals. That is not how you can conduct an appropriate debate.
Good. So now you're saying the thing I just said. I have my own biases, my personal experiences, and I say them. Some people disagree, and some people agree, I and I don't 22. care. You yes. now come along. And but I you're my still own wrong, though, because I'm not operating on biases when I talk about women driving. I'm talking about the empirical evidence. I might have personally thought women are worse at driving than men as well. But once you arrive at, uh, once you look at the evidence and you realize that uh, said evidence suggests something else, you're yeah. probably not going to continue believing the prior thing that you believed, right? Very we, we've, let, we've went over the same point like five times. No, and no, I, think no, we're just I know, but it's just, it's just how, weird. Do you, how do you get past it though, right? Like if you, if you ever have any disagreement, how do you get past uh, solipsism? What do you do to get past like, well, I know what reality is, but my biases are my experience, so I'm just going to treat my biases like they're reality. How do you... It's like, um... It's it's impossible to overcome. It's it's completely... Weird because I can't, like... I can't break through uh, Andrew's... Uh, I, understand. I understand your point. You're saying that even if I thought... Here. We're losing the girl. No, no, exactly. I won't talk That's to her. Fine. He's saying yeah, even, sure. if I, even if I thought women were worse drivers, I've seen the empirical evidence, and I'm so smart that I ignore my own eyes and ears and believe what the internet tells me. That's what he's That's coming not along what I'm saying. asking you to do, my friend. I'm sure, you're, I'm sure you're double vaccinated. It all makes sense to me now. <laughs> Dude, he's like, it, with, with, with like, this is why I don't really care if bad things happen to anti-vaxxers, okay? Because it's the blowback hits people like this. Like, what do you do with shit like this? Uh, I'm sure you, like, listen to reality and, like, see evidence and respond to evidence. That's great, soy boy. Like, okay? Now, you believe what you're told to believe. You don't believe your own <laughs> lies. You don't believe your own ears. And that's what you're going to sit here and talk about empirical evidence that you found on Google. Cool. If you believe everything that's on Google, that is your prerogative, my friend. And if you think that makes you sound smart in the modern world after the three years we've just been through to say that I read a piece of paper that tells me to believe X, so I believe X, and I ignore my own personal experiences. And you think I'm that not you asking sound you to ignore your own personal experiences. Be, I'm simply be, asking you to I'm look at the data. So let's change the Brain subject because you've just proven your point. Okay. Andrew, do you believe, well, I didn't, I didn't, uh, you didn't really prove anything, but it's cool. Uh, do you believe the earth is flat or do you believe the earth is, is spherical, round? Aldi has, has right. his headphones on. Yeah, oh, he took his uh, headphones off? He gets very stressed sometimes and, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, it's cool. It's important. You know, sometimes you can't take the heat. Sometimes you can't take the heat. So you got to get out of the kitchen a little bit. Um, Andrew, do you believe the earth is flat or round, spherical, globe? Round. What you believe it's round, right? But when you walk outside, it feels like it's flat. Brother, brother, and I, I, I it looks flat, it feels flat, but you believe it's round. Why do you f uh, believe the earth is round? Because I have personal experience that would prove to me that the earth is round. Oh, you have personal experience. What, what happened? Fine. Did you go up to the moon? Is well, that I'm how you correct. figured it out? Exactly. I flew up into space and I looked down on earth. <laughs> And yeah, that's crazy. Okay, we, you don't have to. Hey, listen, you don't have to concede on that point, but I think you and I both understand the importance of scientific, uh, the importance of empirical evidence in that one, right? Or, or you know, science. And I thought, wow, this guy, wow. Okay, he's going to ruin the stream. We had a hot chick. Now oh, you're did here. You, is that what you thought? This is such a incredible bitch behavior. If you're just going to kick us on, kick us on. What is this like? We were having such a good time, and like. Now we're not. Now we're. It's like it's like bad. And then the hot chick is seventeen. Uh, well, you know, already called on this guy. Maybe that's maybe that's why the girls that he's with uh, don't know how to park their cars. Hassan, dude, you just don't get it, okay? Like, which you're out with chicks sometimes, and like, uh, you know, the you you go out and we, you you're out getting some food, and they order from the kids menu, you know, and like you don't know, like you, you don't I mean, you don't even you're not even with girls, so you wouldn't even know that. <laughs> You're not familiar with the kids menu at uh, Applebee's? What do, what, do you not go there with chicks that often? What? Yeah, great. Anyway, it's just, it's a, uh, it's a wacky guy. Just, just, just chill out. Like, I, I don't little, wait, so what's up? Is it, is it a little bit more difficult when I'm not like uh, the traditional like SJW looking person? Is that why it, it, it feels like the, the stream is a little bit more ruined? No, it's not difficult. As a professional, I'll tell you the conversation we just had. Yeah, you, uh, dude, you've been kicked in the face and stuff. Like, I'm sure you can handle little old me. Exactly. So I'll tell you as a professional the conversation we just had. I said I am biased and I don't believe women can drive. That's my personal experience. I don't care if anyone agrees. Oh. You came along and said, you can't, don't interrupt me. You came along and said, <laughs> no, that's not true because of the evidence. I came and said, I don't care about the evidence, my personal experience. You said, I also have personal experiences and we're all biased. I agreed. Then you said, even if I had personal experiences that said X, I would ignore them because the internet told me to believe Y. I believe what I am told. That's not what I said.
I said that, that regardless of my own person, massive insecurity. When people act like this, the whole like um the the whole like well, you believe what you're told, you know what they're what they're demonstrating is that they're um they're absolutely petrified of being cast in the out group of the little social community they built for themselves. It's it's a terror of being uh it's a terror of association more than anything. Personal biases that I might have, evidence is still more important than my personal biases. When you guys are all talking at once, you and it's boring, it. and you've lost, and it's boring. So let's just oh. move on to the next subject. Is that, one is that, is that what happens? You just say I'm boring and I lost, and then you win? You is did. that what it is? Do a poll. Do a poll on the chat. And if you won, then we'll continue to talk it. But I'm sure you've lost, and it's okay. boring. And it's do you, do you want me to leave the conversation that desperately, Andrew? It seems like you're running away a little bit. No, we're just going in a never-ending circle. Like we've, okay, we yeah, we can move on from that. We can move on from the the... <laughs> the importance of science and and Andrew's personal biases. Andrew, can you tell me a little bit about uh the Hustlers University, whatever that is? Not in a promotional capacity. I know that like you're doing the rounds on Twitch, and I know that that's probably giving you a big boost. But I want to understand, you know, because you are a businessman. I want to understand how you generate revenue. Uh, is it okay to get this information for Sub free, or do I have content. to pay fifty dollars and then maybe get an affiliate link and? get other people to also join so I can make a 10% cut off of them also joining Hustlers University. You can find everything on the website and you can join if you want more information. That's Let's get some more information. All right, already getting some vibes. How do you want to change your life? Enter your message. Oh, we have the fake message notification down here. Oh, it doesn't even go away even when you click out the window. Uh, pay by card. 36 great British pounds. Wait, what does this even teach? What is this even teaching? Wait, available. Wait, is this all the money this guy has? Wait, tell me this is one of only several accounts. Is he, He's not bragging about this amount, is he? If, you, if you're taking photos of you like this and you show the account and it has less than seven digits, don't be a rich fosh. No, dude, this guy made this guy was like a professional fighter. This guy was like fucking around with other people. There's no fucking way this dude only has half a mil in the bank. I guess a lot of it could be in stocks. I don't know. It just it just makes me wonder if he's leasing this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, welcome to Hustlers University 2.0, a community where me and dozens of war room soldiers will teach you exactly how to make money. Hell yeah. Do you have only one account with all your money? Yeah, yeah, I'm not crazy rich. Yes, I don't have multiple bank accounts. Maybe one day, okay? Maybe you just took a photo at the dealership? There, like, it's pretty easy to fake being rich, you know? Aren't there, like, a lot of stories like that? Where, where it's like, you know, I lease the car at the right time, I take photos in the fancy places, it's like, hey, you buy the right clothes or rent them, you know? You can fake being rich pretty easy. I think he's actually rich, though. I don't know. I'm very unimpressed by stuff like this. Hustlers University 2.0. This is the same photo that was on the front. Can you make money today? No job, but still money arriving in your bank account. Yes or no? Welcome to Hustlers University 2.0. It's a community where you'll have access to stock analysis, option plays, crypto analysis, DeFi, econ. Okay. Every professor is verified by me personally. Each one of them is making anywhere from 10K to 500K a month in their select field. I chose fields that anyone anywhere can do now to get rich. It's just 49 to enroll today. Wait, 49, wasn't it? Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Wait, what was I clicked on before? Oh, God. Whoa, whoa, uh, duh, duh. Were, were we on the about section? Wait, where were we at the beginning? In a previous life, I lived 5,000 human years atop Wudan Mountain. I remember every lived second. Life is competition. Competition is violence. That's crazy. I guess it makes sense that he would fantasize about another world where he has hair. Okay. Right. Interesting. I think this is his altar. Yeah, dude. 
This is his fucking OC. What am I supposed to say about this? Why is he white in ancient China or whatever? That's a good question. I don't think we're going to get an answer to it either. Why does he look so different here? Do you think he can draw? There is no chance whatsoever that he drew this. Like, zero, zero percent chance. It can't, it cannot. I made $100,000. I'm sorry. Well, maybe, the, you know, they say to make money, you have to spend money. And step one is buying a new mic. What is that? Dude, I make so much money. Can you can you hear me through my through my old Game Boy Advance WarioWare microphone? After I joined the war room, that was the year I made $100,000. One year ago, I did not even have a business. I didn't make money. Now I make five figures every month. If I didn't join the war room, I would be nowhere near where I am today. A lot of people had a bad time in 2018. I was not one of them. And I credit a lot of that to being in the war room. That's one of the things that I'm learning in the war room. That there's, there's Does it, is, it, is it immoral of me that I don't feel that much sympathy for people who fall for this? I feel like you have to have some kind of brain damage to look at stuff like this and like get like bought into it. I have so little sympathy at all. It's all like 14 year old boys, you know? I, I don't there are Multiple ways to make money and just between those two students alone and save them half a million dollars. The thing that I really don't get is that normally for this, like, fantasy to work, the main dude has to be attractive. Because the whole purpose of these real videos is that it's supposed to make people, like, it turns off your rationality and you're supposed to imagine that you're this guy. Like, how cool could you be? Yeah, but he looks kind of heinous, so... Where... Making money is easy. You just take it from somebody. Literally, you can change your life in, in, in a year. And when he talked about building a place where he could... Man lit true... Yeah, wait, how tall is he? Andrew Tate Height. He was a fighter, so it should be known, right? Nah, he's 6'1". He's not a manlet. The camera was just held above him. But I'm 6'2", so he's a manlet to me. Hey. Speak freely. In the war room, you learn how to be James Bond, where you can just pick up any weapon you use. And the thing that really hooked me on it was this opportunity to invest in the casinos. When he said that like, he's bringing lots of people together, I was like, I don't know more people like me. The diversification of the world allowed me to expand. I, you know. I, I feel like I would need an entire stream to t tear apart how like LARPy and fake and cringe this is. Um, but, but we're trying to do on the Hassan thing right now. Quit playing on a hate or hate the game. You're right. I should I shouldn't hate the Romanian sex trafficker. I should hate Romanian sex trafficking. You're right. I have to keep focused. This feels more sinister knowing he's an actual human trafficker. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we get I think we get a vibe now. Okay. It's fine. So you know. Wait. What? Oh yeah. Hold on. Andrew Tate. Trafficking. Isn't he? American woman does isn't he? Didn't they say he's in Romania because like the police can't get him there or something? It's there's like a whole thing to this. Or go away because that's the nature of the internet. But you know what? Fine. It's Cons, so, tell, we say could, I'm a human trafficker. We could save the world from an asteroid, and they would still and say, Ethan, "Well, they're human Ethan traffickers. will sit there in between his eighth and ninth taco. I think they run a sex ring. You know what's actually funny about since that thing? I, I do run a sex ring. It's called my harem of girlfriends. <laughs> you, you know, it's they're funny. all willing participants. Exactly. What's funny is this: <laughs> one, that there's dudes out there so soy. Imagine that. You, you're. This is only convincing me even more that they're sex traffickers, and the the exoneration is not happening. I'm not. I'm not being pulled away from that belief. You're. You catch your girl on Instagram at our house. Yeah. She says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they made me come. They made me come to this big and, party, and she's dancing in the videos. She's dancing. And the, she's the, dancing. Police, the police have the videos. She's dancing around, twerking. And you sit there and go, "Oh my God, she's kidnapped." <laughs> Are you okay, baby? <laughs> I'm gonna save. I don't know what they're referring to. Somebody did, however, just link spoilers. Andrew Tate flirting with seventeen-year-old and Hasanabi kicked out for being boring. 
And then if you scroll down, lol, Tate flirted with a 17-year-old girl. Good for him. It's in man's nature to be attracted to younger, feminine, and fertile females. Been that way since the dawn of time. And woke feminist Western culture will never change that. In fact, because of feminism, the rainbow agenda, and other progressive agendas, the Western family has been decimated. And as a result, you're way below replacement levels of population growth. You're dying. I met my first wife when she just turned 18 when I was 28 years old. I recently married my second wife, who is 15 years old in Somalia, and I couldn't be more satisfied with my two wives in a traditional family structure. Cope and seethe. I actually don't know if this is satire. It Like, there's a decent shot that it's bait, I but I can't know. Is it really that far beyond Andrew Tate's audience? Like, I, well, this is like, is it really? Like, is it that unlikely? I don't know. Could be. May might be. Whatever. No, they pinned it because they said that person needs help. Um, anyway, let's just move it on. Moving on. You don't want to yeah. share this information for free right now. You don't want to educate me on that. I don't want to sit here and spend the next hour That's you trying to accuse what? me of some bullshit. I'm not. It's, it's I'm not. I'm, I'm here to learn. Andrew, you are a brilliant right. mind. Sure maybe a little rattled. Maybe a little rattled from uh, the, the numerous concussions, but brilliant nonetheless. So I want to hear more about your business strategy, if possible. It's actually quite interesting that people who are too scared to get in the ring try and make fun of people. Yeah, okay, Mindforge just said Hassan learned from you, and I don't think that he did. However, I like this tactic a lot. Insincere compliments are really, 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 really effective at, um, at, at, at bringing down people with inflated egos. Um, because they know, they know they're being insulted, like they know it's insincere, but they don't have a good um, tool set for dealing with insincere commentary because their natural reaction is to get upset by it because it denigrates the actual compliments they rely on to maintain their self-esteem they don't have a good like framework for responding to it people who have bravery to try and make fun of no i do oh, think it's very brave i do think okay. i do think it's very brave. Oh, all right so let's let's not let's not let's not detract the bravery of men who do things you're afraid to do that's the first thing the no no, no. Thing. you you are absolutely yeah. incredibly brave you still might have CTE, but you are incredibly brave. I, I, I appreciate it. I mean, whatever. It's fine. Uh, cool. The point I'm trying to make is I know you want to sit here and talk about hate, hate you and try and break it down, and you've prepared a bunch of notes, etc. Et I have no notes whatsoever. I'm a dumbass. I don't know anything I'm talking about. I'm simply here to learn from you. No. Can we stop with the sarcastic shit and just have an actual No, I'm literally, but that's the truth. Bro, you're being so sarcastic, though. Like, why are you being so sarcastic? Like, I'm not. I'm literally. Bro, you're oh, just come on. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm asking questions. Yeah, you're being sarcastic. Like, listen. Hassan, listen. please. See what I said? This is being done on behalf of someone else, which is to the benefit of Tate, but still, like, you see what I mean, right? It's pretty clear that I was the better Hassan. So. Yeah, that's agreed. I agree with that one. If, that's for sure. if you could just get out the call, maybe it would fix the stream. Uh -huh. I think so. Would you guys... what, what call is this, by the way? What, what like, thing is Hassan interrupting with his presence? What, what's happening here? It's just, a po it's just a podcast? Just called into their show? Okay, yeah. If you guys would like me to leave the call, I can do that. I don't want to be, I I be rude. I gotta get back to work. I, I, I do not want to be rude, boys. Uh, you know, this is your stream. Uh, Andrew, uh, I'd love to talk to you in more detail if you'd like to. I, I hope that one day you can... Is it a coincidence that all the people who aren't Tate and Hassan are like 14-year-old boys? Uh, educate me on your, your revenue strategies. Uh, I if mean, it's, like it's, it does look a little bad, though, if you're this. like, if you feel as though I should leave the call because you feel like I'm overpowering oh, you a little bit. You should stay on the call, but I think you should be more socially aware. I am. And Oh, is no, that a no, bad I'm... question? Do you oh, not educate no. thousands you of young men you about your business strategies? I want to know Make more. Proud, Dad. Okay, I want you to be more socially aware and understand that since you've joined the stream, everyone's... Hey, wait, right now, I can also give financial advice to thousands of men. There are like 9,000 people watching. Statistically, that's a dead ringer, all right? Are you guys ready for it? Buy ice cream. It's tasty. Buy it. That was financial advice. Begging for you to leave. The vibe's down. It's boring. It's it's late at night for me. My feet I hurt. Have fun. You're the music's boring. too no one loud. Cool. No one thinks you're intelligent. No one thinks you're funny. I, I don't think I'm cool or intelligent. Wait. I just have questions and you're not answering them for some reason. No, I don't Why are we answer. derailing? I don't have to answer your questions. You're not the police. I don't have to answer you. No, anything. no, no, not at all. No, Holy I. Holy shit, dude. He's so defensive. I'm not the UK police nor the Romanian one. I'm simply yeah. asking you nice questions. Man. 
about your business strategy, which you which you literally educate people on. I just want to know how you fucking uh, how you do growth and revenue. I Huge dig, by the way, from Hassan. Massive dig. Very good. Extremely well done. Um, phenomenally well done. Why can't I be a hustler? I want to be a hustler like you. I want to be a top G, a top bloke, a proper bloke. You can find out more on the website. I would like to stream to get fun again. If you want to discuss this. You don't think your like, educational content is fun for people to consume? I think everyone's saying kick him. Read the chat. Have you guys read the chat on your stream? He's <laughs> such a beta, dude. Holy shit. Giga soy cucked. Let, uh, did my feet hurt? Everyone's saying you should leave. If you're going to kick him, just kick him. Oh my God. Can you imagine if I did this? Like, if I was having a convo with somebody, they were ribbing me and, like, asking questions I didn't want to answer. And I was like, dude, people in my audience don't want... I bet you that in his chat, most of the people want Hassan to stay on because they're here for the content, by the way. It, like, it's it's just... It's really pathetic. If you want him gone, you gotta take... You gotta own that. You gotta say, I don't want to talk to you. Like, at least that's honest, right? <laughs> you want me to You want me to leave that bad? I, I'll... If you want me to leave that bad, I'll leave. You're, you're just being, I, I mean, listen, I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm just a messenger, but you're just kind of like being sarcastic. Making I'm not, I'm literally not. Circles. I promise. You are being I swear to Allah that, that I want to know. Just saying wasn't sarcastic. Don't even, you can't even convince me. None of, none of what sarcastic. I have mentioned is sarcastic. I truly so would like to know more. Oh, another rhetorical tip. If, uh, if you're talking with people like this, you should engage in what is known as, um, an IQ sonar drop. Okay. Uh, you're trying to see essentially how much uh, rattling there is in their skull pan. Uh, sufficiently low IQ individuals uh, actually interpret sarcasm and irony as threats because they don't have uh, a good enough grasp on social basics to understand when other people are engaging in it. So when they do engage in it, they interpret it as a kind of implicit threat, like they're trying to outsmart you. This is not a joke. You got like you you guys know like it's like a cartoon archetype of like the dumb grunt that gets like mad when they're like, are you making fun of me? That's a real thing, by the way. Um, now you have to be very unintelligent for this to be a viable strategy, but you know, God bless them. Sometimes, uh, some, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes reality imitates art. 85% kick. 85%. No one thinks you're funny or interesting or witty. Your, your little comebacks, no one's interested in them. You have Aww. a funny thing. Andrew it's okay. It's okay. Program. Andrew, if you want, we can have a, we can have a conversation again. We can have a conversation again in the future if you'd like. If, you, if you're brave enough, I guess. HU has, HU has an affiliate program for some people if they want to affiliate, like everything else in the world. We have over 100,000 students making more than they invest each month. If they didn't make more than they invest, they wouldn't uh -huh. sign up. One of the most successful online educational platforms in history. Is it, is it, are join. there multiple layers? You can learn how to make some money yourself if you want to join and have more information. It's all on corporatech.com. You can find out yourself. If you're too cheap to pay $50, then you're a brokey. Nobody gives a shit what you think anyway. You've ruined the stream. Everyone wants you out of it. So either change tune and get with the program and be fun, or keep sitting here and talking sarcastic and really slowly and repeating yourself and talking about how you only believe what you see on the internet because no one really gives a f and it's boring. So let's move on to something. Wouldn't Andrew Tate's war room shit also be believing what you see on the internet? Like, isn't it an internet course? Oh, yeah. I'm fun. Let's get the tempo up. I've just told you about hate you. We do have an affiliate program. You can find out more on CobraTate.com. Yeah. No, it, it is. So, okay. So it is a multi-level marketing scheme. Got it. I just wanted to figure out if it was a, truly a pyramid scheme. It would be inappropriate of me to assume that it's a pyramid scheme without having you explain it. Uh, in such terms, but thank you. All right, we whatever, a, whatever you guys want to talk about, I'm, I'm game. You're welcome to affiliate anytime you like, friend. It's no problem. Yeah. All right, so well, let's move on because this dude is, he's lame, my friends. Let's All get right. Yeah, Hassan, I, I appreciate you coming on. We're gonna bring in another guest though. All right, peace, boys. Hassan, Have fun, gonna, Andrew. I'm always on. open to talk to you, my friend, if you'd like yeah. to. We'll have another conversation. Have thank you, my friend. Have a good night. That was bullshit. I've never seen a man act so hysterical. I thought he was such a fucking big boy. What happened? That's crazy. What happened there? How are you going to talk so much shit and then cry like a baby? My man was in his fifis on that one. That was... That's true. Uh, the rest of this, I guess, is him talking. But I probably agree with most of what he's going to say. We should watch the part two. Uh, Andrew, uh, I don't know if you heard it. Go ahead and Andrew, tell him. Like, it's 6, 16 a.m. We're having fun. We can do, like, no, some I'm debate here. if we want, whatever, whatever. But it can't be... No, no, be... no. I'm not, even, I'm not even trying to debate. I just, I, I just was trying to get Aiden to say that you were coping about the mic thing, but he doesn't. He wouldn't even refuse to say it. Means, we can... Bro. But, no, bro, I do... I do. Fix it, fix it, it's like, okay, listen, it's I don't know the full context here. I don't think I'll need it, though. 
not exactly the, you know, most academic of discussions. It's gone. Okay, well, I do gotta, I do gotta admit that no, it does take balls to then uh, say that you would uh, be down to debate me or have a conversation with me next time around. So you know, props to you on that one for sure. Uh, we can do it at a different time. A real man, a real alpha. I'm a member of Hustlers University now. Okay, so a real tough G does not make excuses. He gets better. Welcome to Hustlers University, my friend. Hopefully, you can, uh, you know, stop being a brokey. I'm a hey, member, Tate. A worky? I'm a member. Wait, Chase, are you signed up too? I swear I signed up. Tell everyone University. Did they all got a subscription, so they're all here for the group call. What it looks like it. What is the no? What is the what is the context here? What is the nature of this? Is this a meme? I don't know what type of meme this is. I just want to know. Hassan didn't actually. Okay, all the streamers. I'm just gonna watch it. Life. Let's Wait, do that. Hassan, real quick. I always wanted to ask you this question. Who did you vote for? What? Joe Biden. Biden. I voted for Joe Biden. Oh, I voted for Kanye. Nice. Okay, that's okay. Uh, oh no! I'm don't sorry get... that I'm oh, sorry that they didn't sorry. work out. It's like it's like saying you voted for Harambe. What? What? He like rubbed his hands together after too. All right. Oh. Well, hold Hassan, on again. No way. No, I can't. It's over. Hassan, do you think Joe Biden's a good president? No. no. That's it. Fucking dog shit. All right. Hell yeah, brother. To completely insane. Then okay, there's there's some hope for our conversations in future. I'll wait for you to start defending Joe Biden. <laughs> no, Joe Biden say, oh, sucks. Time. So I respond. I mean, I mean, let's be honest though. I mean, I saw a vote for Bernie. So I mean, that's. I love that. Bernie. Bernie's great. Bernie's cool. honest. Look, Hope it's like I'm in the yeah, call. I mean, Bernie, See? Bernie is honest. None of them are. Yeah, well, yeah, but the Democrats. Bernie's more lot. honest than, than all the other ones. N word. Oh, we'll talk about N word. Am I just, invisible? I is my mic muted? Hello? And, you know, okay. Is my mic muted? Hassan. 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 Respond to my DMs. Hassan. Hassan. They muted me. Guys, they muted me. All right, I'm leaving. I didn't actually join. I was being sarcastic. Tell me. Tell me how why you joined. Your other friend said he joined. It changed his I life. Too, I love you. By the way, I can tell you why I joined too. Cool. Let's talk I, about I was, it. I was broke. I was broke. I saw how you live in. I wanted to get rich, but I've only been in it for like three weeks. But I've been making some bread. I've been making some bread. Have you made more than you invested? <laughs> yeah, duh. So is it a good investment? Duh. I made money. I made loads off of just a Bro, little investment. Are you, okay. Okay. Yeah. Serious yeah, question. Honest, how are you making money? By how are you making money or what? I don't want to. How are you making the money? Don't worry about how we make it our money. Go join yeah, the I don't, I don't. If you want to, are you, you making the money? Money? are you making the money through affiliate codes or are you actually making money? I'm actually making money. Not, Not through how? affiliate codes. You're like following, yeah, yeah, following yeah, the steps. Yeah. 18 okay, what are you doing? You got to sign up to see. That's right. Bro, That's this right. is this is such a scam, brother. Come on, you gotta, you gotta at least. For, uh, you're just doing a hashtag ad at this point for, so for I, so I, fucking Hustlers University. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Hold on, on. Stag, go ahead. Bro. Tell your story. I joined. I was like dad broke. I had like what 10k to my name. I joined that guy even broker. So I don't know what the f like. What the f <laughs> I joined the guy broker. Like how was that even possible? Yo. Like everything, I, everything he told me to did, I did, and it just, it just came went down. It went downhill. I guess it was ass, bro. So, so we have a positive review and a negative review, and then we have Hassan in the middle who thinks it's all a big scam. Broke with 10k. The best. Well, for these guys, for hustler wannabes, yeah. Also, something tells me this guy has 10k because he doesn't spend shit on shit. You ever, you ever get a feel for like these people with the mad hustle life who are sleeping on a mattress on the floor? You know, like it, like you know, I, I respect the discipline, but uh, Jesus Christ, you know, let's, you're, you're gonna die one day, but enjoy life somewhere along the road. Okay, guys, here, are you guys ready for an actual financial investment tip? Are you guys ready for it? Okay. Financial analysts and experts reliably fail to beat the market when it comes to predictions. So you should never listen to people online who are trying to give you like the hot, the the hot advice on like what's going to be big or what's not. Like just never do it. Um, just invest in like a basic, well diversified hedge fund and like just go for long term gains. The only exception to that that I think an average person could reasonably get at is if there's some gigantic fucking world event. That makes it seem like some shit is going to be much more useful. Maybe that's like a good thing, but even that's not reliable, right? It's always it's always um, really sensible in retrospect. So like when COVID um, when COVID hit, uh, like Zoom got really big. A lot of stuff related to like long term or like long range communication got really big. Masks, you know, there are things you can do, but it's always like a in retrospect thing, right? Because there are lots of things that you think might get big that don't, and it's like. I bet you a lot of people invest in Skype, <laughs> you know? Hey, if you want a safe investment, Lockheed Martin, baby. Yeah. 
those um, Himars are, are looking good right now. All the other countries in West Europe are going to gonna need some Himars, okay? Become a, a Lockheed Martin baby. Become a, become a Lockheed leftist. That's what we're. That's what we are. Okay, we're uh, we're we're dirtbag lefties, dark Brandon acolytes, and Lockheed leftists. That's what we're. That's what we are. I have to defend you constantly because of these jokes, Vosh. Good. I'm glad. Suffer. <laughs> Gonna do like an anarcho syndicalist Lockheed flex. <laughs> Okay, seriously though, when people don't don't listen to like in trying to outbeat the market financial advice online, it's like always a scam or like almost always a scam. Just well diversified hedge fund hedge funds is how you make the money. No, I I know it's a scam, brother. I know it's a scam. Come on, I mean, so is it, it? Look, look, look. It's it's not even a new one. Our parents there's probably kids in this chat right now whose moms and, and dads uh did a version of this it's called herbalife amway it has existed throughout time the multi-level marketing scheme yeah there was like five the of entire them in the entire point XQ, is what do you to mean? promote it so you can you can basically okay i don't know if i've told this story when my parents first moved to los angeles because they lived in like florida and then like texas then eventually to Los Angeles. When they first moved there, um, they had some house that was like in the valley, in the, in the, in the uh, like north of the mountains that are above LA. And they were just getting their footing there. And it was the biggest city they'd ever been in. It was huge. They were refilling on gas because they had moved all their stuff in their car with like one of those little tow trailers. And some people struck up convo at the gas station and they were really, really friendly. And my parents were like, oh shit, we like literally just made it here. Like I, I, I wasn't born yet or I wasn't conceived yet. You know, they just made it here. And my parents, like, struck up a convo. They were really friendly. And they were like, oh, you're new in town? That's awesome. You're from Texas? Cool. Like, do you want to, uh, like, you should come over for dinner sometime. And they did. And they sat down for fucking dinner, like, to, to hanging out at this people's place. And they were MLM recruiters. They started talking about, like, Amway or some shit. They were like, hey, do you know how we were able to get such wonderful food? Well, you know, we make a lot of money off of, and, like, they do the whole, they did the whole thing. And my parents, God bless them, they wouldn't be like this today. Back in those days, my parents were nice enough that they sat there and listened and like pretended to care. They told me when they were telling me this story that nowadays they would have like just got up and left right away, but they were like just new to the city, you know. Anyway, dude, MLM shit rots people. It makes people f horrible because not only does it like it does it ruin you financially, but it teaches you to commodify every single interaction you ever have with another human being and try to t turn it into like a marketing scam. It'll like separate you from your friends and from your family like everyone like it, it destroys you it makes you poor and it destroys you it's it's horrible it's genuinely horrible I, I i literally think the people who make mlm should be like life in prison like for real just like full-on like yeah like like basically economic crime against humanity miserable stuff yeah basically substitute the bag down to the next person and you're at the tippy Fuck top man, bitch. collecting the the entirety 90 percent of profits from every single fucking sale made Fifty dollars might not come across like a big amount of money, but over the over uh, one hundred and ten thousand people, that's a lot of fucking cookies you're making every month. Yeah, obviously you're somebody wrong. Somebody Photoshop let's, a uh, discuss this at Lockheed like, during leftist our next flag. official organized debate. Because if I, mean, I, I can't, but I can't stop myself. We're gonna talk about it. Like if if Cheezer over here's gonna fucking praise it, like in front of one hundred and ten thousand impressionable kids, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to talk about it. I'm not crazy. I'm not praising it crazy. I'm just saying. Money. I'm not gonna lie, he did just buy a Roly. He did just buy a Roly. Well, what, what did you what did you do in three weeks? Expensive that made you make purchases money? does not mean. Yeah, I wanna hear it, I wanna hear it. What did you do? You made make your bread how? Find out. We're find gonna out. give it away for free. I can't just say that that's towards him. I can't just give out his sauce. So did you did you did you get a job or are you signing the book? No, you doing? I didn't have I didn't have to get a job. So no Why aren't MLMs illegal? They are illegal. Um the problem is that it, it can be they can be kind of tough to like get down definitionally and it's they they're not the strongest protections they are illegal though it, like very explicit mlms are illegal but there are lots of like mlms in in you know everything but name that aren't oh sorry pyramid schemes are, are illegal my bad pyramid schemes are illegal mlms aren't but mlms are basically just pyramid schemes it's yeah it's just like really weak regulation basically yeah also, not at all sus that like everyone here it just refuses to explain how you're supposed to make money through this process. No job. Okay, so how did you not sign the book? So did you make money up here? Like, what are you doing? Right. You're saying what? Saying weed? Just sign up. That's all. You just gotta sign up, bro. Sign up. It's fifty bucks. Don't be tight. 
Like, you know, come on, this makes no sense. I'll dedicate this it is... to the socialist new world, whatever you want. I'll take your 50 bucks out of the pot and I'll put it into something you're happy with. Don't worry about it. And and just join. Of course, There's 18 modern wealth True. creation methods. And what actually, if you want to be a logical person, Mr. Imperial Evidence, what you'll understand is that don't be impressed that I managed to get 110,000 people to sign up. It's, I retain, it's empirical. It's not imperial. I, ret I retain those people. And the fact that I can retain that many students means there's 110,000 people in the world making more money than they invest every single month. So or, you're, or they're making money under the bill. Bone apple tea. Because they're getting royalties off the bottom. No, no. We have less We have less than 6,000, I think, the affiliate program closed a few months ago. So less than 6,000 students are even allowed to affiliate. So the rest of them, 104,000 people, are making money other ways, and they renew every single month. You're, you're welcome to join. Like, uh, there's no way that a, a, a university or an education program would get this big if nobody was making money. People are making a lot of money. Even if you dislike me as an individual, that's fine. People are making a bunch of money. Everyone's getting How? rich. How? There's a whole bunch. There's a whole section on wins. You can join. Can you try to talk to XQC? Is he reachable? XQC is not reachable to me now. He's like 18 degrees of not reachable. I don't even know what I'd talk about with him, to be honest. On the Winds channel. Bro, this is, I mean, Ty Lopez did this too, bro. Like, it's the same wait, shit. Wait, it, it's wait, literally wait, the same I saw, shit. Was Ty Lopez the guy who was like, hey, look at my Lamborghini. Look at my Yeah, exactly. Look at my and, and instead of Lamborghini, oh, Cheezer, I wanted to be look at my Bugatti. Oh, no. Cheezer, you know what I'm talking about? Tommy is literally doing yeah, the same yeah. thing yeah. verbatim, but instead he's doing, look at my Bugatti instead of my fucking Lamborghini. Bugatti. And that's the difference. HU existed before I collected that car, so that's not true. But HU is a, an amazing product that I stand by. It's fantastic. And when you finally give in and join, you're going to be happy you did. Don't worry about it. Bro, I'm, I'm yeah, good. I bro. I, I, out of everyone else on this call, I'm the only motherfucker who gets uh, blasted on the timeline for, for uh, buying nice things and also having money. So I'm good. I don't need to make yeah, more money. Not only, not only do I buy nice things, I buy nice things that I can't even use. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Both thanks to you and I, uh, we love we love what we do. We like streaming for the sake of streaming for the most part. I find it very fulfilling, but also because of the amount of subscribers I have, because of the financial freedom that I have from my own community, I don't need to fucking, you know, take on sponsorship deals or anything like that. And I don't need Look. to take on Hustlers University. And when I see a scam, I can call it out as I see it. I'm trying very hard not to, you know, debate because we can that, do it at fine. a later date. If you want to talk about this, but no, it's ongoing. Not new, it's whose chat is this, by the way? The the link down here says Aiden Ross. Is this who's Aiden Ross in this call? Is it top center? I get top center vibes. Okay, I was right. I was right. Hell yeah! Just looks kind of like an Aiden. He's a Tate Dick writer. So Hassan's channel just got permission to see this. Happened time and time again. By the way, Chad, I'm not believe, getting paid to promote. You, you, no, 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 that's fine. Happening. Don't buy it, bro. No, that's good. You Do believe it's a scam. It, you believe it's the old school MLM. Don't I told buy you that shit. Don't know who Aiden Ross is. He's just like train wrecks. Uh, does he just do like gambling streams or something? Aiden Ross is AIDS. I mean, I can tell by looking at him. Yeah. Aiden Ross hangs out with a bunch of famous rappers and did NFT crypto gambling scams. Yeah, okay. That seems about right. That fits my preconceptions. Fifty dollars. You're saying that you're rich, but you refuse to join. So obviously, you don't know what the product is. <laughs> you've never seen it yourself. You're just going based on what you've decided, and that's that's completely fine. You're not going to reduce our subscriber number. Every so single it can't time be banned. One, one now. We get three, four, five, six thousand new students. Everything's going fantastic for us. Yeah, We're because just so like, far, yeah. Just, no, you you admit you admit it. This is a good way to market your your really? product. I'm marketing. People don't push back product. because Aiden is like. Like I said, he's dick eating a oh, little bit. Oh, preach it. So, oh, bro, hey, 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 you're not going to talk to my homie like that. Watch your mouth. Hey, you're not dick riding. Appreciate you, gang. Appreciate you. What is he, what is, what is he doing then? It is a cool what, what guy. Would you, what would you call what he's doing then? I mean, he's just, he's just learning. He's just learning new things, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, learning how to ride the dick harder. Hey, watch your. Hold on. Very important. We found our flag. My goddamn anarcho Lockheed Martinist. We're, um, we're fighting for workers' democracy. One. Two hundred and seventy-seven thousand dollar heat-seeking missile at a time. One one no-bid government contract at a time. We're we're fighting. <laughs> Was that Quinchea Quebron means f***ing bastard in Spanish? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm, nah, I'm not closing that. I'm saving that. That's my war flag. Fuck your mouth. He not dick riding. I'm not indeed. I'm not. <laughs> okay, bro. No, no, he's dick riding him. This is like a centipede. It's like the movie. He's dick riding <laughs> that him. That was funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Listen, I mean, he's in these people get so mad when you accuse them of supporting each other, and they try to counter the accusation by supporting each other harder. Yeah, well, that's why like people make fun of dick riders, and these all. So basically, there are people whose internet careers exist only because they um 
they they leech off of each other's clout and just exist in like a combined space. That's why there are a lot of people who basically like don't do anything and nobody really likes them and they aren't that interesting, but somehow you see them pop up everywhere. It's always been a thing, but on the internet it's a lot easier to form this kind of permanent like association, but nobody wants to admit that that's why they are what they are, so they downplay the dick riding, but they have to dick ride because if they don't dick ride, you know, um they um they kind of pull apart a little bit. No, Vosh, I just finished. <gasps> a contender. Ooh, more subtle. I think it needs to be bigger with more color contrast. I like that it's actually the right flag ratio, though. Tough shot. We'll see. Rare W. Rare Omega Wolf. I don't know. I, think, I do understand because, like, the people on the internet who hate me, because I just found out after our little it's debate. I didn't, I didn't, I, I'm new to Twitch. I'm only a week into this. I don't even have a proper account. I just jumped in when Aiden invited me for the first time. I don't know who any of the big guys are. I didn't know. It turns out you're a famous Twitcher or streamer. I didn't know any of that. I didn't have a clue who you were. Oh, no, and, not uh, even. Then someone said on Twitter, yeah, he, he's, been, he's a fan of yours. He's been watching you for a while. He does all your videos to us. You've been watching me for a long time, so you're a fan of mine. But I don't even know your worldview. I don't know your paradigms. I don't know how you view the world. I don't know where you lie on the political spectrum. I don't know anything. But This is um, uh, prey behavior right here that Tate is demonstrating. This, like, um, I, I don't, don't socially oblige me to disagree with you because I don't even have any beef. There's no no beef at present, you know. Just don't don't look at me, you know. Retreat. I wouldn't necessarily say fan, um, but no, I have seen some of your uh, some of your work. Most of the information I found out about you is completely against my will. I mean, you've been popping off, and I wondered why does Andrew Tate? Oh, because oh. I you also dated uh, Jordan Peterson's daughter, which is a rare W for you. And also, I saw you uh, talk about joining the Marine Corps as a uh, pussy shit, which is another rare W for you. But outside of that, it's usually just a sequence of L's. Wait, I was wondering, this about him? Andrew Tate follow? doesn't have... Ooh, this uh, one follows Andrew Tate the doesn't swoop. have... See? Uh, That's any, good. Like, he has follows a lot of social media the... footprint, but not necessarily a lot of accounts. How is this happening? What I wondered, how is this? What, how does this work? Why are there so many people out there that are making accounts and promoting all of your podcast appearances, clipping you, and defending you every single time? Because I inspire yeah. people, my friend. Well... Part of it is because I think there is a financial interest that's associated that's with Martin. it because the more they promote you, the Holy more they shit. can sell Hustlers University to other people so they can get an affiliate code. Uh, the, the percentage that you get with your affiliate code when you get other people to I join more flags. Hustlers University. That's where it came from. That's yeah. when I realized, oh shit, okay, it's just a basic... Uh, Multi-level so marketing scheme. You've been a fan of me for a long time. You've been watching me for a long time. We agree. Everything. You can I don't say that you if you want. want. I don't have a sure. clue who you are. Uh, I don't know your political affiliations, et cetera, et cetera. I understand the internet, and I understand how the internet works, so it's very easy to come along and say... Wait, that's not true. He knows that Hassan believes in empirical reality. That's a huge ideological departure from Tate's world. He's making over $10, $15 million a month. We have to find a way to discredit that. We can't discredit the amount he's making, because we know oh. that to be... A imperial so reality, like, sorry. How is that possible? It, uh, we're going to come along and say it's being made dishonestly. I understand that. But, and, and hey, it's fine. If that's the prerogative, people can come along and say whatever they want. If it was a dishonest program and a dishonest system, then I wouldn't have so many happy students. I wouldn't have five star views. I would et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Should it, I wait? Should I do this? By the way, should I start a um, an MLM so that you guys have to defend me to promote the MLM so that you can get more affiliate links? I should do. That's a good idea. That'd be. That's a good. Um, yeah, I will not defend you. Yes, you will. Anyone with a brain knows, but I understand that it's very easy to be jealous. And when you're a fan and you're watching all my stuff, that you're going to come up with these theories. Brother, I already told you, I'm the only mother in this call who gets flamed when I make more money. I already make too much money. I'm good. So no, it's not. It. It's definitely Wait. not jealousy. A hundred times, a hundred thousand times, times fifty, not five mil. That is correct, but that's not the only thing I have. It's not the only program. Damn, you make life. five m a month off of it. Yo, I that, need a percent of that, bro. I, I bought it. I need a percent. Yeah, of that. bro, I lost money and shit. I, 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 I need more money back, bro. But that, but that's if you, that's if you take everything on top of that. What's what's the rest of the revenue coming from then? So yeah. I have to be. I was, so this is a stream, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you everything I do. But people know I own some casinos. People know that. That's public knowledge. I own casinos in Romania. So I have a. <laughs> I have 14 casino locations. Damn. I have, Damn. Damn. Yeah, I have. Damn. I have a, I have a substantial property portfolio across four or five different countries. Uh, I have Hustlers University. I have the War Room. I, I still have my brother still owns an agency that manages OnlyFans girls. So between it all, we're I mean between it all, we're 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 doing very very well.
And the idea that we would be out here desperate to scam people is obviously not true because we don't need to. We no, I don't think it's a, it's I don't a, scam, a desperate it's a scam. scam. It's just yeah. an additional scam on top of the casinos you own cool. and numerous other things cool. that you just mentioned. You know, I mean, cause see, calling casinos a scam. I mean, well, yeah. Cause yeah, ma organization that manages OnlyFans girls sounds like a trafficking thing to me. Knowing, knowing what this guy's already about. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty fucking sketchy. Usually when people, when people like this, like, run off all their accomplishments, they're lying about a lot of it. I mean, the dude's obviously really wealthy. I don't know what this has to do with prescriptions made in his, um, MLM, sh MLM shit, though. You know? The thing is, usually with, like, multi-level marketing schemes, the premise is that you get better rates and, like, more money in general if you bring other people to sign up. But that's part of the, like, distribution process. The idea of an MLM having a pricing structure set the way that it is is because it's meant to be like, uh, you know, take charge, you're, you're the boss kind of distributive model. The thing that's weird about this, though, is that the only apparent purpose of this war room shit is to make money yourself. So if that was the case, why on earth would anyone ever need to rely on the affiliate links that they would hand out to other people for their own money if they weren't making money off the original thing? Even the premise goes away because you're not, it's it like it, the only purpose, it's not even like the distribution of a product. It's just making money yourself. So there's no logic to it being an MLM other than if it didn't work on its own um, account. Oh, hell yeah. Lockheed leftism. You have this. I like this one a lot, actually, because the D set you have to uh, you have to stop, though. We have to focus on the video. Casinos are rigged. I mean, there's a, there's a built-in bias to the game, of course, da-da-da, normal. No one's going to sit here and say casinos should be fair. I mean, maybe a socialist, but anyone with a brain wouldn't. Casinos, oh, have, a built -in, casinos have a built-in edge, of course. You got me. But uh, yeah, Hostess University is a product I stand by. There's a reason we have so much, so many fantastic reviews. We just had our one-year anniversary today, actually. I did a stream to the 110,000 students. Had our one-year anniversary today. 110,000 students in one year. So we're doing very, very well. We'll be a million students very, very shortly. I'll continue to be on everyone's feed. No one's going to get rid of me. I can't be banned. I haven't even got an account. And I, I own the internet, and uh, King Tate, okay. that's it. Like, I, people can come okay. along and say that's dishonest as much as they want. That's fine. But my, my I, life... I, I, I have a mega question in I have a mega question in Okay, okay, well, this is not disrespectful. I, it's just actually informative. If you make, let's say, you say 20 mil a month or whatever, and five... I'm getting brain cancer from the chat up here. Is Aiden Ross's entire fan base 12-year-old boys? Five at, at, at best, let's say at best, at maximum performance from your book thing, Right? I have no idea why people make fun of teenage girls' interests online. Because teenage girls were like, watch Supernatural and ship the characters with like, Doctor Who characters. And teenage boys will come on here and like, pay money to donate to sociopathic fascists who are building cults. Like, th there's, su it's, there's such a huge difference in like, the character of their presence online. Like, teen girls are annoying and the teen boys are like, the be the, the, bedrock foundation of the next like <laughs> mass shooting why are you pushing the book so hard and not doing other shit with your time you mean, um, you mean if, it's not, if it's only like a quarter of your rev you mean hustlers university yeah the reason i am so big on hustlers university i actually discuss this on many podcasts is and i don't know where perhaps even me and hassan will agree on this because i have the feeling hassan's far far left i'm associated with the far right but i don't think i'm far right but the world's quite cyclical and sometimes if you go far enough in a circle you end up agreeing on it's the a horse to theory okay whatever it's, i, I, I definitely don't agree with that but okay cool so oh, wait think... why did he get indignant when xqc pointed out that's horseshoe theory which is literally what he just described did he think he was coming up with something new? Wait, did it, did Tate think he had said something new and insightful and got offended because there was already a term to describe it? So he's, it's not even that he doesn't like the term horseshoe theory. It's that he doesn't like the fact that anyone else could have... Holy shit. Oh my god. I've talked to some very far left people before and we actually agree on how the world works. We just approach it from completely different ways. So I think every single system on the face of the planet is corrupt. I think every single government is corrupt. Judicial system is corrupt. Legal system is corrupt. Medical system is all corrupt from head to toe. And I think that there's going to be a large paradigm shift coming in real time. Maybe not this generation, but certainly the next generation. What that's going to be, I don't know. Whether it's going to be good or bad, I don't know. However, I believe that having people who agree with my worldview, agree with what I say and think, I think having so many people who are on my side of the fence with money is better than having a whole bunch of brokies. 
So if I could teach people how to make money in a way that benefits me and benefits them, I think it's good for me to be able to ha say, ah, look, I have 110,000 people who like me, who are my fans, for example, who would help me if I ever asked for it, not that I ever would, who agree with my worldviews, but they're being taken seriously because they also have financial means. If they're complete brokies, nobody gives a shit. Wait, so isn't, that's that, what, wait, wait, isn't, that, isn't that what a cult is? No, kind of, yeah. That's kind of how a cult works, yeah. But I just, feel, I just feel like a lot of people who change the world in a lot of ways, people who, you know, the matrix you talk about, a lot of people who, who kind of makes these changes almost that you're that you partake in are in your definition brokies a lot of I incredibly would, intelligent people that are like side are brokies i would literally. disagree with you. i think the oh, world wow. is run by a very hold small on a second. Select hold on a second guys how do you guys think um we humanity existed hassan do you think um you know like child brains i dude i'm way the f too mean to Hassan. Okay, I think Hassan f***s up sometimes. I have to remember that, like, he's in, like, the broader popular Twitch space, and he's, like, he's in the proximity of, like, actual soup brain individuals. You know? I, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. There's the guy on the top. This guy? I don't know. Apparently he's bad. No, it was evolution. Do you think it was Adam and Eve? What do you think? Hassan's dumb. I just don't think he's... I don't think Hassan's dumb. I think Hassan's just emotional. That's the problem I've always had with him. Even when he believes stuff that's wrong, I don't think he arrives at those conclusions through some, like, uniquely ineffectual, um, like, thought process or whatever. I just think that, he, you know, it's like an ego thing or he gets, like, emotional when criticized or whatever. I just think he's a big old softy on the inside. That's why his body, that's, you know, didn't he, didn't he used to be a fat boy? He made his body rock hard, but right on the inside, right around his heart, he's still got a lump of soft fat that, that, that cries out for love. Or something like that, yeah. What? No, I don't think it's Adam and Eve. What the? F anyway, but look, I want to go back to this the Hustlers <laughs> University. You said you have one hundred and ten thousand people who are no I longer broke. Fast, G. Like, keep keep going. Like, I can see the, the the ticking going off. Keep keep promoting me. Come on, come and complain about how much money everyone's making. Let's go. <laughs> no, Again. no, no. This is not a complaint about. Look, look, hey. listen, bro. I make a lot of money too. Okay, it's not it's not necessarily the end all be all. I think after a certain point, you're just flexing you don't need that much money like i have all of my amenities covered for on top of that i can help my friends and family and right. everything else is just basically for luxury goods okay and i personally think that all of those luxury goods despite what the fucking dumbass stupid anarch kitties on the internet say i do think that those uh luxury goods like flexing those luxury goods are uh weird okay I think your material possessions are not going to be carried into the next life if you believe in god and if you believe in you know the next life then you know that that shit's not coming with you doesn't mean Absolutely. anything. Doesn't um, mean it can't be destroyed now, but I agree with you. Just, this is what I mean by emotional. He's still thinking about his arguments online instead of focusing on the um, the demographic here. Um, the people who are watching this thing when it went live, probably like hundreds of thousands of people from different communities or whatever. Like nobody knows what Anarchides means except for his chat, and his chat's already on his side. You know, he uh, yeah he needs to focus on on different um, uh, sort of a different. So the the problem is is that like. Um, People like Tate and people who worship Tate, who are usually 12-year-old boys, are like political sociopaths in the sense that their political values are like lean them towards not caring for other people. So people who don't have enough money are brokies. Oh, you work three jobs to support your children? No, it doesn't matter. Broke, 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 broke. Like it, like, it doesn't matter. Like there's, there's an, like a, a deliberate political rejection of the concept of empathy. Um, and you know, any clout you have is good and there's nothing like, essentially it's, it's, it's like, um, ethical nihilism where there's no such thing as good or bad things, but they're faking it. They always fake it. Um, because obviously Andrew Tate does have ethical positions, bad as they may be. Um, even if the, the fronted position is like, yeah, dude, hustle, whatever you want to hate, whatever haters going to hate, whatever I got you mad, huh? you know, um, they do have positions. It's just a matter of like hitting them at the right point, you know? It's yeah. the status symbol to solidify the persona that you have crafted, right? Of the persona of a successful guy. To be quite honest, like going from, from what I understand, going from a kickboxing career that wasn't, you know, all that profitable as you yourself have admitted, mostly because it's a super exploitative industry and it's not great. Uh, right. Then to, you know, a failed media career in reality TV shows in the UK, you seem to have landed on quite the profitable business. First doing the OnlyFans girl webcam bro, thing. Chat, and there's some questions this, I have bro? for that in how particular. How does he know all this? Sure. Uh, what's what the f Aiden doing? No, I was just, oh my bad. I, how do you know all that? 
Yeah, he's a fan. I told you he's a fan. Go, no, keep asking. Dog. No, bro. Dog. Okay, bro. No, 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 research, no, okay, what do you mean? Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to just like uh, come That's out. That's fair. I agree. Wait, but a lot of Google people have brought you. Wait, that's it? That's fair? How do you know all this? I read about it. Okay, that's fair. That's an acceptable explanation. I was really confused about how you could know these things. But learning that you learned about them has put my mind at ease. In the first they see you on Oh, it is? Okay, a lot see. of people have brought you in on their shows because they see you popping off on TikTok, and that to them equals dollar signs. To you, that also equals dollar signs. I'm a little bit more responsible. When I see something like that, I go, hey, let me, deep, uh, let me, let me investigate a little bit further. What's Love going on dive. with this dude? It's fine. Okay, so what's the question yeah, about well, my webcam? We'll leave that up for the next time we have a conversation. Oh, sure what are you doing you have, now, bitch ass? What the fuck is this? I'm sure you have, uh, sure you have a lot of uh, ways of describing it. I'm, yeah, I'm pro-sex yeah, work. Cool. I, I, am, I am definitely pro-sex work, but there's, uh, there's always some uh, additional exploitation in that field, and it can get kind of weird. Cool. Um, so we'll talk I, about that. No, I feel Hold like on. you're You're selling me a book, Hassan. Man, Hassan. Real quick, I want to like ask you a question. If technically you believe in evolution, this right? So technically we're all brothers then. We're all brothers and sisters. We're all related, right? Also, I see this one. Um, I, I, I guess that's part of the No, I don't think line. so. So technically we're all no. incest. I mean, oh, I, I, I guess I, like, I guess it's, it's so far that like, there's enough genetic diversity that it's not considered incest. No, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, also we were a different species at the time, I'm pretty sure, right? So like, things operate differently at the time, so I think it's disingenuous to say that we're all... Yeah, but we'll guy, guy who reads up on evolution, just so he can calculate how many distant cousins removed his girlfriend probably is on average, so that he can get off to the kink of incest when he fucks her. He's, he's like, he's like railing her from behind and, and thinking back of the like, the Mesopotamian hut where their great 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 etc grandparents must have what was the last what was the last stage before human I've decided I'm a misandrist now we're doing it people listen people think that I joke with misogyny which I do most of the time but then anytime I watch like screaming guys online it all can whiplashes back right into my head all like all, every you could not you could not even begin and it's full fledged because I like I f dudes too, so it's like it's it's uh, clothes on, clothes off in the streets, in the sheets, uh, all the time. Just uh, I just hate them, just fucking obnoxious. The whole problem. And you know what? It's me too. Yeah, it's okay when I do it, not when they do it. Yeah, you're right. I am a l screamy internet guy who makes too much money. And yeah, I do hate screamy internet guys who make too much money. Here's an extra clip of XQC killing Tate after Hassan left. I can't believe he's actually dead. Talk about something else. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about something else. I'll, 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 I'll choose the subject. What is this clip? Okay. Yeah. All right. I just feel like the word top G just took a whole new turn. What's up? When did that clown move in with you? Listen to the science. You said what it, Mr. Taint, twisting the narrative to defend you yourself, failing to construct logical arguments, confidently and kicking me. You don't uh, see a clown? A, a sign of loss. What is happening? A oh, boring I, answer yeah, for who it. you are. I see it as well. You don't see the clown? I see it. I, see it. I don't see the clown. Is it? Is it me? Am it I might be you because I see it. I mean, Aiden, do you see the clown? To be honest. Hey uh, guys, hey guys, yeah. do you guys see the groomer? You guys see the groomer? The top G, the top groomer. You guys see him? I don't. Oh, I think I see him. Might be. You guys see him or not? Ooh, not funny. You see him or not? I mean, it goes both ways. Shit. I wasn't talking about you. You're not a clown. I'm not talking about you, bro. Oh shit. Oh. F okay. Oh my. I would never. I would, I would never insult you. I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying there's a clown in your room. Shit. That was that went way too far then. Christ. I went. I went overboard with this one. Turn around and let us know if you can see the clown. Because everyone else. What is clown? Also, why is this guy such a coward? Nope. All right. Cool. No clown. The clown who hides for gay people? Okay, gotcha. Oh, is it the clown? Is it the clown? Um, It's the gay thing, isn't it? What gay thing? It is. The clown that hides from gay people. Yeah. Yeah, but... Is it why I can't see him? Because I'm gay? I, I, I'm just saying you said you couldn't see the clown. That's all Shit. I'm saying. Shit, and, man. And you know, I guess I'm you know gay. What? It is what it is. The internet... The internet's weird because you can just say one thing online and they'll just reduce you down to it. This is so hard to watch. Hey, do you see the clown? What clown? The, cl the clown in your room. The clown? Oh, you me? You're a f 
Andrew Tate, you're literally a f you children. How do you feel about that Tate? I didn't didn't mean I didn't mean it like that. I there's a cl there's a clown. Where's the cl oh where's the clown? Ha ah, the the clown that you that hi that hides from gay people. Fucking got him. And repeat it over and over. Again. I w I would never insult you. Pepsi. <laughs> And then that's that's all that matters for you. It's someone just told me that five seconds ago. It was really really interesting wisdom. So it looks like he didn't find the clown, and it is what it is. It On to the next subject. Holy, f dude, this Andrew Tate needs to watch my confidence videos. Okay, this is told me that five seconds ago. It was really really interesting wisdom. So it looks like he didn't find the clown, and it is what it is. It On to the next subject. This is my stream now. Aiden, where the f is my money? Is this also a joke? I don't know. I don't know. He's really bad at running a crowd. He's very bad at it. He's not particularly charismatic. No wonder he failed in acting. Yeah, Jesus. The editing was funny, not him. Well, no, the only point to this video was just Andrew Tate being a, being a joke. I, I don't think the video was trying to make Andrew Tate look good. He's made for TikTok Lamau. Yeah, people like that can maintain the illusion of confidence for like 30 second intervals, but the moment they interact with another person, it all falls apart. All you have to do to people like that is like mildly prod them, like make a little bit of fun of them, and they instantly fall apart. Like they have no defense mechanisms. They're very fragile. Oh, God. <sighs> Are TwitchCon uh, San Diego tickets sold out? They're not on sale yet? Okay. How quickly do those sell out? I have shit to do in San Diego. Are you going? I don't know. You going to Twitch cons? I don't know. I'm not even really like a Twitch streamer. Getting out of the house? Yeah, I'm like super cool. What do you want? You should bring a cheese wheel just in case. I'll consider it. Get a stab vest if you go. Yeah.